The question that every journalist asks to every politician is, how are you going to pay for it? And I've now given them an answer. The Taxi World Report, which was published very recently, was written by me to answer that question, how are you going to pay for it, which it seems that every politician is unable to address whenever they're talked to by a journalist. And frankly, every campaigner for every good cause in the UK is also unable to address when they are asked by journalists, OK, you want better hospitals, better schools, better social care, better this, better that. How are you going to pay for it? And once more, they said, well, let's do it. No, that's not good enough. We have to have answers. Now, the reality is that government can always spend money. Can I be clear about that? It can always spend money because it can always create more money. And we saw that during the COVID crisis. But if we aren't to have inflation, we have to have more taxation to balance additional spending. So therefore, anybody who is going to answer the question, how are you going to pay for it, has to be able to say, oh, how are you going to raise additional tax if there aren't spare resources already available in that economy to do whatever it is that they want? So I wrote 30 recommendations to explain just how we could find up to £90 billion a year of extra taxation and up to £100 billion a year for investment in the Green New Deal, in flood defences, in new social housing, in schools, in hospitals, and you name it, whatever you wish, transport, energy, and so on. Now, if I provided that many answers, there is, of course, vastly more money available than anybody could reasonably spend. Nobody could put another £200 billion into the UK economy because there aren't £200 billion worth of things to buy in the UK economy in terms of labour, people waiting around sitting to be employed or resources to be reallocated. So there is a choice available to anyone. We've got to prioritise the choices, but the reality is out of the 30 recommendations on tax and the £100 billion of recommendations on how we find money for capital investment, every single politician and every single campaigner now has available to them an answer to the question, how are you going to pay for it? Because there is tax available. It's always going to come from the wealthy. And there is money available for investment. It's always going to come from reallocating ISIS and pensions. Do that. And we have the opportunity for the future that we need. And every politician can now answer every journalist's question.